Having challenges printing small label sizes on Windows with your wireless roller printer? Let me help you with that. First, we'll need to get the IPv4 address. We'll need this as we add the printer to your Windows computer. You'll need to press and hold down the Wi-Fi LED button for 2-3 to three seconds until you see a blinking green light. A paper test page should print out with the IPv4 address. And set that aside for later use. Next, you'll need to download the Rollo driver. So open a web browser like Google Chrome or whichever you have available and then head to rollo.com slash setup dash USB. Next head to step 2 and click download Windows driver. Once downloaded, open the file. and extract the file. Once extracted, open the folder and run the installer. Just keep on clicking next until it's done. Next, open control panel. Once opened, please go to View Devices and Printers. If you can find it, if you have a different view, this is where you can see it. View Devices and Printers. Now click Add a Printer. And then please click on the printer that I'm looking for is not listed. Next, select Add a Printer using an IP address or hostname. Then click next. Then under device type, please change that to TCP or IP device. Then under hostname or IP address, this is where you type in the IPv4 address. The port name should automatically be filled out and which is the same as the IPv4 address. And then click next. Now this page may take like about two to three minutes, so just be patient. On this page, just click next. And you may need to wait for another two to three minutes. Let me just shorten this part here. Great. Next, look for the Rolo driver. And then on this page, please select Recommended Settings. And here, you can name the Rolo printer however you want. And on this page, you can just select Do Not Share Printer and just click Next and click Finish. And done! We've successfully added the printer, but 
Next thing that we need to do is add the custom size. So right click on the printer and select printing preferences. Now jump into the third tab that says settings. And on this page is where we can add the custom sizes. Now I already have a few custom sizes added since I previously had them already. So we'll try to add a new one here. So what you need to do is make sure you add it in millimeters. So I named it as two by two and then added the measurement below in millimeters. Now, let's try to open a sample label. Let's see if we can find those custom sizes we just added. Now, here's a 4x6 label. Let's see. So, I named the printer Rollo Printer. So, if you don't see it there, you click on See More and look for the name of the printer. Now, you can notice paper size doesn't show 4x6 American. But here, you can see multiple available sizes. And there you go. We can see 2x2. Two two. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment below, share this video to your Rolo family, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.